You see, as long as something we have mentioned about early memories, they also need healing. Most of us will suffer because of early memories and early experiences. But some of those things were experiences that went through that at the end of the day were stored in our minds. And we never, were never able to deal with them as women, as a child. You know, it's important. Even if you, 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 you I don't know how to say to punish, you, 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 you discipline. That's why the, you discipline a child. Don't instill hatred. You must be able to be careful. Try to restore. Even if you've done something, spank, but try to restore that child. Remember, the love must be more than what you've done. What you're trying to do in correcting the behavior. So more love in, 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 in him. Now, my wife <coughs> said, you know, was saying this to Skipper, said, we are going to leave you, uh, 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 Dada and I, and go to Cape Town and leave you here at home. I said, and then what about us? I said, no, I'm going to leave you with, with your sisters because you are naughty. And I said, oh. He said, but Dada will, will remember us. And said, I cannot leave my children alone. And he knows very well. Mm, I said, no, Dad. He doesn't say, Mama. He speaks with Mom. He said, no, Dad. We say, I cannot leave my children alone. Let me go and fetch my children. <laughs> and be with my children. And then she, she says, who are, who are Dad's children? He said, it's me. It's Kim. I mean, it's my daughter and I. He does not mention anything about that. It's my children. I mean, children must understand, my son, that you love them. When you come to Jesus, when you can be honest, but when you want healing from God, be honest in Dosh. Be honest, and God's going to touch you. We make simple things to become complex issues. That are not necessary. You just have to come and say, Dada, I, I, you know, I had a problem when I was 12, and I was part of it. I didn't want to listen. I was engaged in this. Can you hear me? Come as a child. We would struggle here in the church, trying because when you visit a doctor, whether well, well, married woman, he just people said to him, Paramount. He said, This woman is married. Oh, Bell and I get that's the husband. When when she visits a doctor, oh figure I'm I'm gonna say but at the colour. And the doctor is a, is a, is a maid. And the man in the doctor is killing them. I must not be clear of her But But he comes. She comes as a child. What the doctor requires said, come as a child. And then we had to book at a pee. I remember I could have party going down. You must not touch me in that area. No. And the doctor will say, go. You don't need help. But if you have come for help, take off and allow me to inspect you to come up with a clear diagnosis. That's how we should be coming to God. We need to be naked before God. But so the whole house here can experience breakthroughs within a day. Our main problem is that we are hiding. See, I could go share a number of cool or real boom. So, God, go, my daughter. If you come to God, don't try to hide some things. I didn't know what I want to do. No, I'm not going to do anything with, with your manhood. Come up with your manhood. And let me see. We visited female doctors. We never wanted to say, <laughs> no. and the doctor said, I said, but we've got it. I had a big 
scripture, when I was going through an op, because it was closer to my private parts around here. They had a picture of this before. They would uh, put me under anesthesis. Because there were a lot of females. And all these females are going to look, look at my nakedness. I just I, have, I don't have to worry about that. Because they're trying to help me in any way. That's exactly the attitude that we have to adopt when we come to God. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit brings healing when you come as a child. God heals your memories and forgiveness also brings what? It brings healing. Lessons from the lives of, of life of Joseph. I'm not going to dwell on that life of Joseph, but go and read at home. That man suffered a lot. Not from anybody else, but from his own family. From his own family. But it was God who restored this man and was able to forgive his brothers. They wanted to kill him. That's a serious issue. That way. They put him in, 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 a, in a dungeon. Then that's a serious issue. My brothers put him in a deep, deep, deep hole so that I must die. All of a sudden, one of them decided, I mean, make a, made a decision of, let me, let's just sell him as a slave. They sold him as a slave. Suffered even in Potiphar's house. He went to he went to jail. Was imprisoned, but we learned from that man. He said, "Nina, you did it aiming for negative and or bad, bad, but God hijacked your plans because God had a plan about my life." Now sometimes we have to go through it pains. We have to go, but even if we think that it's the devil, but God sometimes can hide the devil. On our satellite is good when I. And the devil is happy and say, ha ha ha, it's finished. Man. You can imagine. That's why the Bible says, learn from Jesus. When Christ was hung on the, on the tree and said, it is finished, I'm sure the devil never understood. And then I'm sure he said, he thought that it is finished about the plan of God. You will never pursue that plan again. Hung on that tree and Tatanasta, that's the Greek word, Tatanasta, and said, it is finished. But God was saying it is the beginning. When you suffer pain and you come to God openly and say, Lord, forgive them. It happened after God released, made him to release these words, Lord, forgive them for they do not know, know what they are doing. Why do you hold people in your heart? Forgive them, man, so that you can be released. 